Cancer, let's start out your reading with the overall energy, which is you have been feeling a void that you would like to have nourished, okay? So that is something that you're feeling a little bit maybe needier than normal. You're just feeling like something is missing uh, day to day. The energy and the advice of spirit is to have compassion, be in your heart space, and you know, be a benefactor, be very gracious and gener generous with someone that you may feel has pulled back in your life. When I'm looking at this reading, when we look at your ascendant sign, first and seventh house, if you don't know your birth time, this can be your solar um, chart. We're seeing that you're in a very good space. You're in this very even keeled, moderate space. It can be a time when you're trying to reconcile differences with someone who's meaningful in your life, who you view as a partner in some sort of way. Um, we're seeing that they are going through a lot of transition right now. Pluto is in their sign. It's finishing up. It's Capricorn energy. What's interesting, though, is that although you feel that they, they are bored with you, they really want to change something, and they know that you may not be on board with it. You seem to be happy with where you're at. Your person seems to be discontent. But this does prove to be a gift because it's going to act as a catalyst to fill the void and nourish the relationship. So you are being very generous. You are in this beautiful heart space of nurturance, the fourth house. So that is your energy. You do this naturally. So you're really in a good place with this relationship. What we're seeing here in your house of money, earned income, and everything you value, you're doing well. We have the Queen of Pentacles. You know, you are on it. You're able to take care of the family, so to speak. This is a mommy card, and it's right next to the daddy card. So oftentimes you play both roles in a family or a love relationship of any sort. We also see that right now you are stable. Virgo energy, we have Capricorn energy here. Uh, but it shows that in the area of, you know, your life, we see that you have a lot of stability, abundance. If you want to buy a bigger home, you could do that right now. It looks like you're also really weighing, you know, any debt with any benefit. So it does look as though some of you may be taking action. You might be very lucky with investments or selling a home right now because we have Jupiter. We have Saturn. It may be a long-term uh, home that you've lived in for a very long time. That will resonate with some of you obviously not all of you but it really looks very happy prosperous legacy building you know this is a type of thing where you could sell a big home that you raised your children in and have a really tidy sum for retirement that sort of thing so it's beautiful energy it really speaks to luxury and stability and a very happy financial life if you're looking to get a loan you'd get one Okay, so when we look at what is going on in terms of your local life, your neighborhood, what's going on, your communication with others, again, you know, you're that daddy energy. You're always the one to say, oh, do you really need a ride to the airport or I can pick you up? Uh, it's also if you want to sign a contract, you could sign a very lucrative contract. It also speaks to the fact that if you're writing or creating something, um, that you really are working on it very hard, a creative project. But we're seeing, again, great abundance, great success here in this area of your life. When we're looking at your ninth house of publishing, however, it we see Mercury and Neptune. You're trying to be very clear-eyed about something that involves the ninth house. Now, ninth house topics, uh, things that it rules, are publishing. If you have a YouTube channel, if you're trying to vlog, if you're trying to blog, if you're trying to write a book, you're trying to write a play, you're trying to write music, you're trying to, um, you know, do any kind of creative work or even healing work. It really speaks to the fact that you are going to be very successful, you know, with the 
king of swords here. You are very clear eyed about what has to be done. This also, it, because it's Pisces energy, means that you may be dealing in the realm of hospitals or you may work in some environment where you're actually doing healing work and especially for like a surgeon. Um, so especially with things that would be like situations where it's hard to diagnose. If you were a doctor, you'd be really sharp. You'd be very good at it. So nurses, doctors, any healthcare professional really. So when we're looking at your fourth house of home, honey, I'm home, Cancerian energy. You are all about your partnership. You, you really love to spend time at home with your beloved. And look at this energy, Aries energy. When we're looking at the 10th house of career, your partner is in this energy of getting some really good luck. This is beautiful energy. You know, you and your partner are both in this energy of moving forward very rapidly, really enhancing your financial stability. Venus, the planet of love and money and good luck is here with the sun card. The sun is shining very brightly on career right now. And it we can just see all this financial abundance, happiness, security flowing throughout the reading for you. So if it hasn't happened yet, it's in the process of happening now. When we look at your romantic life, you are feeling distressed. The Two of Swords says, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear that you're bored. I don't really want to deal with the fact that you're unhappy, that you want these dramatic changes because this is where your partner's at. You know, you're very low key, very cool, very calm, very collected. You know, you're doing a lot of work in this relationship. But what we're seeing is, you know, I'm not, the, I don't want to be the complaint department. And we're seeing your partner is, you know, your partner wants some change. Now the good news, and it's great news, is that your partner is in this Aries energy. It looks as though they've just had a big boost from their career. They want to get out. They want to socialize more. We're looking at your fifth house and your 11th house of friends. They want to do things with friends. They want to go on trips. They want to have fun. So what I'm seeing here is for many of you that have been in a long-term relationship, your partner just wants some freedom to go have fun. A girl's night out, a trip with the girls, it could be the guys, but it doesn't look like you're so happy about that cancer. Now, what I'm seeing here though is with all the wisdom that you have, you do throw caution to the winds and you say, you know what, you're right. Day-to-day -day life should be more fun. So I get this big gift that, you know, your partner is really bringing something, a big change to the table that is going to give both of you more freedom to just enjoy things. You have a wonderful, abundant life together. You're enjoying this, all this abundance. And what I'm seeing is that you feel a little undone, Cancer, that your partner doesn't, that you don't fulfill all your partner partner's needs, that they want to spend more time, you know, this Gemini energy, what's hidden here is that it really has hurt your feelings. So they're bored and you're hurt. And, but here's the good news. There is a huge gift in all of this because we see as you enter the end of this cycle that you really do you say, you know what, we do need to act like we're 25 instead of whatever five. And we do need to throw caution to the winds. And though I feel really hurt, I do want more laughter, you know, and you do see your person as this beautiful, beautiful queen of wands. So it shows cancer that, you know, they bring a lot of liveliness to your life. Go with the flow is the advice for the month. Thanks, cancer. Bye-bye.